Hello and welcome back to B2 Codes. You are learning a programming language. The first thing that you need after learning a programming language is to practice. So to practice you need a good IDE which is the main thing after learning a programming language. So choosing a particular IDE is the main task. You have to choose such an IDE which works well in all the programming languages like it works well with C++, with C language or with Python or whatever you learn. So for me VS Code is one such IDE. All the languages, all the things that I have learned till now, I have used VS Code and it's, I must say that it's good. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can use, how you can do Python programming on VS Code. So it's not that difficult, you just have to download two extensions and you are ready to go. In one of my video, I have told you how to, how to run C++ on VS Code. If you haven't watched this video, I will give the link somewhere out there or I'll put it in the description. You can go and check it out. So today I'm going to show you how to run Python program on your VS Code. So first create a folder and name it anything you want. I'm naming it Python and run it with VS Code first. Okay, this is the Python folder and here I'm going to create a file first. So the first I'm going to create a file which will be named .main.py. Remember, while writing any Python program, you must have to name it .py after the name of the file. So, the first thing that you need to do is download extension to run your Python program. So, you have to click on this extension tab and here you are going to run, or sorry, write code runner. Code runner. Code runner. So this is the particular extension I am talking about. I have already installed this and so it's showing me like this. If you want you can click on, it will be an install button here and you can click on install and it will get installed on your VS Code which is really very easy. So the next extension that we are going to download is Python. Just type Python here in the bar and this is the one that I am talking about. Python, Microsoft, MS, Python, Python, Python. Remember this is the one I am talking about. Okay. You can install this like in some computers or in some PCs. It doesn't matter if you don't install this extension, it will work fine. But in my laptop, I'm currently using Linux, so it's not working. So I have installed this Python extension, so it's working fine with me now. So I think from my side, at first you have to download both extensions, the code runner and the Python extensions to make it hassle-free letter. So whatever, got. Uh, I have installed both the extensions and now going to the main file that I was talking about. So this was the file that we created in main.py. So now I'm going to write the thing that every programmer must write after learning the first language or learning any language that is hello world. So for that I'll write print hello world w o r l d. So I'm going to tell you one thing like when I learned my first language it was C++ and after learning C++ when I first wrote this hello world using C out and all I was feeling really overwhelmed, like, yeah, I can do something, I was feeling like that. That's, that's a different kind of you know, feeling you get when you, when you write something on your own. So after writing print hello world, you got this run extension. So after writing this, you click this run button and click run python file in terminal. Click this and you, were, and you can see here it's written hello world. So anything you write in print here, it will get executed here in your terminal. For example, I'm going to write, say, welcome to B2 codes. Now, if we run this, it will execute run Python Python terminal, and you can see it's written welcome, welcome to B2 codes. So that's how it works. It's really, really easy. You just have to download two extensions to run Python program on your file, on your computer. So that's all for today. I hope you guys like this video. If this video helps you, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again.